हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम मिस्टर रवींद्र भालेराव अँड आय वेलकम यू टू माय चॅनल दॅट इज इंग्लिश फॉर लर्नर्स फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न अ ब्युटिफुल स्टोरी रिटन बाय सुधा मूर्ती दॅट इज अ लेसन इन लाईफ फ्रॉम अ बेगर बट बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस व्हिडिओ ॲज युजल आय रिक्वेस्ट यू डोंट फॉर गेट टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल द नेम ऑफ द स्टोरी इज a lesson in life from a beggar written by sudha murthy let's see a brief introduction about the author sudha murthy who is a well known writer of short stories she has written books on her memories from her childhood on hospitality and other such issues faced by common people in their lives this lesson has been taken from her book wise and otherwise characters of this story meena an lic officer next one is author herself let's see a story in detail Meena is a good friend of mine. She is an LIC officer earning a good salary. But there was always something strange about her. Always something unusual about her. She was forever means all the time unhappy. Whenever I met her I would start to feel depressed I would start to feel unhappy It was as though her gloom gloom means feeling of sadness and cynicism means a distrustful attitude had a way of spreading to others means her distrustful attitude or sad feelings always spread to others she never had anything positive to say on any subject or about any person for instance for example i might say to her meena did you know Rakesh has come first in his school Meena's immediate response Meena's immediate reply would be to be little the achievement naturally his father is a school teacher she would say if i said meena shweta is a very beautiful girl isn't she meena would be pessimistic means always expecting the worst negative attitude and she might say when a pony is a young he looks handsome pony means a small horse it is age that matters wait for some time shweta will be uglier more unpleasant looked than anyone you know so in this way it was her negative thinking for each and every object or person meena it's a beautiful day let's go for a walk no the sun is too hot and i get tired if i walk too much besides who says walking is a good for health there is no proof that was meena she stayed she lived alone in an apartment apartment means in a rented room as her parents lived in delhi she was an only child and had the habit of complaining about anything and everything 
naturally she wasn't a very pleasant pleasant means enjoyable company she did not want nobody want to be a friend with her and nobody wanted to visit her then one day meena was transferred to bombay she shifted bangalore to bombay and soon we all forgot about her writer explained her memory about meena when she was living in bangalore many years later i found myself caught in the rain at bombay's flora fountain means writer for her official work she came in uh, mumbai and that time when she was near the flora fountain place that time suddenly uh, there was uh, a raining it was pouring and pouring means raining heavily and i didn't have an umbrella means writer did not have an umbrella i was standing near akbar ali's a popular department store waiting for the rain to subside waiting for the rain to stop subside mean to settle down or stop suddenly i spotted mina i found mina i saw her my first reaction was to run even in that pouring rain in that falling rain i was anxious to avoid being seen by her having to listen to her never ending complaints so here the writer was in confusion whether she should meet meena or not because meena's nature was always ever ending never ending complaints however i couldn't escape means writer did not escape the meeting with meena she had already seen me and caught hold of my hand warmly means meena already saw sudha and she came to meet her she caught sudha means writer's hand warmly warmly means in a hearty manner what's more she was very cheerful and that time writer saw that meena was looking so happy hey i am really excited it's nice to meet old friends what are you doing here in such a way meena was talking to the author i explained that i was in bombay on an official work then stay with me now tonight she said tonight means night of the day let's chat do you know that old friends and memories are precious and rare precious means a great value valuable or rare means not seen easily so here that mina was look looking so happy or exciting after meeting with author that is sudha i couldn't believe it was this really meena i pinched myself hard to be sure it wasn't a dream means that writer was not
said then what's the secret of your energy i asked like tend to cut does in the advertisement she smiled and said a beggar changed my life i was absolutely dumbfounded dumbfounded means very surprised and she could see it yes a beggar she repeated as if to reassure me he was old and used to stay in front of my house with his 5 year old granddaughter as you know i was a chronic pessimistic chronic mean extreme so much pessimistic means always thinking bad negative i used to give my left over left over food means food that had not eaten after meal that is called left over food to this beggar every day i never spoke to him nor did he speak to me one monsoon day i looked out of my bedroom window and started cursing the rain cursing means expressing anger i don't know why i did that because i wasn't even getting wet that day i couldn't give the beggar and his do- granddaughter their daily quota of leftover they went hungry i'm sure so here the mina explained her story how she learned a lesson from beggar however what i saw from my window surprised me mina said the beggar and the young girl were playing on the road because there was no traffic they were laughing clapping and screaming joyously as if they were in paradise in heaven hunger and rain did not matter they were totally drenched and totally happy i envied i become jealous about their just just means about looking their great enjoyment enthusiasm for their life so mina described that incident here and again she said that scene forced me to look at my own life i realized mina said i realized i had so many comforts so many facilities none of which they had that beggar and his granddaughter didn't have but they had the most important of all assets assets means useful things one which i lacked one which i did not have they knew how to be happy with life as it was and that was the useful important asset that beggar have which mina saw they knew how to be happy with life as it was i felt ashamed of myself i even started to make a list of what i had and what i did not have i found i had more to be grateful for than most people could imagine that day i decided to change my attitude towards life using the beggar as my role model in this way mina described her story her life incident 
After a long pause, I asked Meena how long it had taken her to change. Means how much time you uh, took to change your nature or attitude? And she said, once this realization dawn, realization dawn means began to realize, she said, it took me almost two years to put the change into effect. Now nothing matters. I am always happy. I find happiness in every small thing, in every situation and in every person. And writer said, writer asked, did you give any Guru Dakshina to your Guru? I asked. Mina asked. Mina said, no. Unfortunately, by the time I understood things, he was dead. But I sponsored, sponsored means provided funds or money for a good purpose. But I provided money to his granddaughter to a boarding school as a mark of respect to him. Friends, I hope you might have liked this video. If you liked it, please share it. If you have any suggestions for me, please write in comment box. Wish you a good day. Thank you very much.